earth signs virgo taurus and capricorn welcome to my channel my name is chelsea thank you so much for liking and subscribing i really appreciate your love and support in this reading we are going to find out your person's next action towards you and this is a love reading so your person has to be romantically connected to you in some way shape or form all right earth signs let's get your reading started spirits and angels please show me for earth signs virgo taurus and capricorn what is the person's next action towards earth signs wow <laughs> judgment okay so two different scenarios first one would be for those of you if this is someone new and then i'm gonna go to if you're separated from your person okay so this is someone new seven of cups here in reverse feels like they have no doubt at all whatsoever that uh you're the one for them because the king and the queen both are actually looking at each other here um your person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Can also be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. I feel like for some reason... Hmm, your person's next action towards you is to see you again, judgment, or speak with you again. If this is someone new... But there's something here with the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups and Mubwares. They're a little bit sad. Maybe there are some factors that could be prohibiting both of you from either being together right now physically or being able to talk with each other right now. There are some hurdles or some obstacles here, okay? Or signs. Ten of Swords here is in Mubwares and we've got the Temperance. So... Whatever these um, obstacles are, I feel like if there's someone, someone you're currently connected with, okay, or someone relatively new, and the temperance here feels like they, they feel like they need to wait, they need to be patient before they can see you again with the three of cups here in one verse. There's something that they are very sad about currently, okay. Mm. But five of cups here in one verse, it feels like they are trying the best that they can to be positive but king of cups here in my verse it, these two are crying cards for me <laughs> when the king of cups is in my verse it's like a crying king to me and the three of swords as you can see there's uh it's raining so they could be sad right now or signs this could be someone current kind of new or it could be currently connected with but i do sense them wanting to take actions towards you and judgment here obviously this to me indicates them wanting to see you, wanting to speak with you, wanting to express to you how they feel about you because the king of cups in one verse is also a king who would like to express his or her feelings, right? And the good thing is the king and the queen of wands here both are actually looking at each other. So they want to see you, obviously, right? If you look at these two here, they're facing each other. So the next action is towards... And these, these two are action oriented energy so uh, um <clears throat> excuse me i feel like their next action towards you is to see you see you okay because they both are seeing each other but right now they're kind of sad about something maybe they can't see you right now they are not able to see you right now or not able to talk to you right now or that they, they could be suppressing their feelings um, not telling you exactly how they are currently feeling, but their next action is what's used to tell you exactly how, how they feel. Um, there's so, or it could be something that may have happened to them here, ten of swords here. Um, in the past, I feel like they may want to tell you about their past, okay? Their next action towards you is to tell you their, pa their past disappointment, sadness, something that may have happened to them, uh, that I feel they could still be sad right now. They could still be sad or heartbroken with the Three of Swords, but they're trying to heal with the Five of Cups here in my verse. 
they're trying to be positive they have some hopes that i don't know that they're hoping that it can recover or that they're hoping that this is not going to happen again or that they are going to maintain positive okay or signs if this is someone you're separated from seven of cups here in one first a decision they're gonna make a decision to heal this connection temperance is healing and recovery ten of swords and one first remove the swords off of your back and they're currently very sad three of swords here because both of you are three of cups here my verse not together not seeing um not on the same page or not being able to be together because there's a separation here obviously five of cups here in one verse i feel like they're gonna talk to you the, the king of cups here in one verse they're gonna really become very vulnerable um they're gonna they're gonna try to look judgment is also a reconciliation card you've got two cards that indicates reconciliation uh or getting back together reconciliation may not always mean getting back together like let's start over it could mean that okay for some of you but it could also mean like let's make peace right and look at the temperance here let's make peace but the king and the queen both are in an upright position so they may if they see that you are interested if they see that you are up for a talk a, convers a conversation um they would reach out and perhaps would like to discuss with you about the separation um and perhaps wanting to get back together, reconcile. See, four of cups here. They're going to talk to you about something that they're dissatisfied about. I feel like they're going to be telling you the truth. And also we've got these six of swords here. One second, Earth sign. <coughs> Sorry about that. So six of swords. Hmm. This is travel to me. Because this person is on a boat, right? I feel like they will travel towards you, no matter how far they are from you, okay? Moving towards Kama water. Um, let's cross the bri bridge. Let's talk. Let's hash things out with the judgment here. If this is someone you separated from. Four of Cups. Yeah, they're going to tell you about something that they're dissatisfied about, okay? They may also tell you that during the separation... They may have other may have had other offers may have had other other options but they didn't take it they haven't been too satisfied with options being presented to them so they would rather try and you know fix this thing mend things with you because see they're still very 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 attracted to you they still want you they still find you to be the most desirable one okay so they're gonna tell you that they're heartbroken through your swords they've been really really sad again this person could be a fire strong fire and strong water um aries sagittarius leo or uh pisces cancer or scorpio this one just came out i'm gonna take it the fool eight of pentacles the magician the hermit Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Wow, big change here. I feel like Earth signs, they may want to talk to you about commitment, okay? Whether this is someone you're separated from or someone relatively new, I do sense this person wanting to talk about stability, talking about loyalty. Mm. Yeah, they may press... Um... They may be pressing you for a commitment <laughs> or that they may tell you that they they want to be committed to you because this is earth right so so they may tell you that they want a commitment from you or that they want to be committed to you but it is slow not a pentacle so expect this person to move slowly towards you to move to tell to you know maybe they will say something because the nine of pentacles is slow and then we've got the king of pentacles let me tell you that um let's go slow but i have all the intention to be committed to you or to turn this relationship into a 
commit an official relationship eventually if this is someone new. But if you're separated, it may say the same thing as well. Um, wanting to go slow, perhaps both of you, you know, can reconcile or should reconcile and and then slowly move towards being in a committed relationship or being in a committed relationship again, okay? Okay, I feel like they're gonna say something to you, Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. They haven't been able to work, they've been thinking a lot about you, they feel kind of the full in reverse, they may tell you about certain risks involved in this connection. If both of you were to get back together or to take the relationship to the next level, if this is someone new, they may tell you about certain risks that uh, both of you may have to face. Certain decisions that could be very critical. Um, and that both of you need to be on the same page. And that perhaps you have to be more understanding in order for this to work. The magician here is in reverse. Like it is something that is possibly out of their control. But the only thing that I feel like they're going to make a certain promise to you as long as you promise the same. Because again, the king and the queen are looking at each other. So both of you will have to agree to this after this talk. And then... But I feel like this talk, again, it may this person may say something about the risks or how perhaps there will be some sacrifices. Perhaps there's certain things that they can't do right now for you, but they have all the intention to take this connection to a very serious level, okay? The hermit here is in reverse. It feels a bit like, you know, I know I've got this very silly idea. They may tell you, like, it may seem silly, it may seem risky, but I know you are the one for me. So in the cups and reverse, I know you are the best option for me, and I'm crazily attracted to you. You know, I think about you a lot to a point where I can't even concentrate on my work, unless there could be some factors related to their work that both of you may not be able to um, do something right away or take the relationship to the next level right away. If this is a... I feel like this could be long distance or... if this is a long distance situation, yeah? But whatever it is, I feel like in the end, with the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles here, they will talk to you in regards of commitment. They will talk to you in regards of being on the same page so that like both of you will have to agree some sort of an agreement agree to do certain things or not do certain things no cheating no you know three of cups yet in reverse no um entertaining other people and then they'll be all in as you should be all in as well okay <clears throat> that's what i'm getting here for this reading our signs virgo taurus and capricorn this is your reading hope you resonate it in some way, shape, or form, I'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my, vo my voice. The first um, playlist is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. Second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics, different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant um, because I post them every single day. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care, signs. Bye.